July 20th, Thursday, after market, around 5.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so, what happened today? Well, exactly what I just said, right? We're getting in those zones. As I was talking, if you didn't catch the last video, go to watch it. Uh, you will see me talking about how um, I'm, I'm getting ready to slam this, right? And we had the, we finally have the, the, the first sign of weakness, right? So, um, let's just go into it and see how it played out, right? So, what I was saying, let's go into intraday, right? What I was saying in the last video, I was saying that once we get in the zone, you see, like, yeah, that's the, you know, that's the box. Let's make it 15 minutes charts. You can see that that's the box that I was interested in taking a short in, right? So like one of these touches here, right? So <clears throat> what happened that day? So I was saying like, yeah, there's nothing going on. There's no more new news and there's nothing new happening. It's just like people are realizing like, well, why am I buying the top right now? You know, it's just like one of those things is like, why is this going up when there's nothing really interesting to make it go up? So it makes it like a... Um, great way to get trapped on some euphoria you know because people are like oh we're finally the best bull market you know whatever they're saying but um the truth is everyone's bearish and they got caught up in this whole area here i would say a lot of people started getting caught up here and then another next wave got caught up here and the next and the last wave got caught up here and now look what's happening right no one's left to play and now they're gonna sell it off all of it now we are getting in that zone where I'm expecting a bounce, right? So now is it going to bounce, touch this, and that's going to give us an even better short, right? Or is it going to squeeze to this area and it's going to give us like the, the most ideal short? Or is it just going to like try, not find any traction and just sell off hard? Well, those are the three scenarios that are... what yeah that i'm gonna be looking after tomorrow right because like now because we are friday right so this is the hourly chart right so we are friday so we've been going like that right now i expect this to go like that tomorrow and then do this right now could it do this yes you could do that so a it's a it's a it's a it's an, int it's an interesting long here you can even long it there right long it there to this area here so you can take along there to this area right here. <clears throat> if that breaks out, go along on it. If that fails, short it. If it doesn't fail, hold it to here. If this fails there, short it. Cover a little bit here, bounce, short here, cover there, right? There is a little, <laughs> little way of, uh, a few ways of, uh, Trading that and I know the way I'm gonna be doing it right so basically tomorrow be careful I'm expecting a bounce because of the premium and uh, after that we'll see how it's gonna go after that because if the, if tomorrow I think it's gonna sell off to this area right there like to the 4500s I don't know if it's gonna touch the 4500 but it's probably gonna get close to it if it does the bearish momentum thing but if it doesn't do that, then it's going to go up and it's going to do, it's going to probably, it's going to touch here. It's going to test it, right? If we are going to make a, I think this is going to be like the first legit in this area, like double top. So the double top, I expect that to fail hard. So it's either going to come here, tap, tap this, fail hard, or it's just going to try not have enough volume and fail hard. Those are the scenarios that are most likely going to happen. And if the if, if those don't happen, this is going to go up to this area right here. And for that, and that's when you know you should cut your trade. Do not cost average or anything stupid like that. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this one short, guys, because I already made another video, uh, because I already recorded a video and realized that the video did not record. So, yeah. There's a lot of things that I said in that video, so I'm just trying to get to the point. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the that's the way I'm looking at it right now. We are 
you see like this balance zone is not holding so we are technically start begin first signs of weakness and uh that not that might not be like the actual week that I that not might be just a uh, trap, right? The first sign of weakness could be a trap. And then when it comes back here, then we're going to have the second sign of weakness. Now, if we get a second sign of weakness here, then it's going to be a, a crazy sell-off too. So I don't know if it's going to be crazy, but it, there's going to be a... The price will sell off. So, but again, tomorrow, I think the there's going to be a bounce because of the way the options work. And that, this is why you can't be just holding short right now. You just have to see how it plays out in the first 30 minutes of the market or the first five or whatever, right? And then take the trade. Yeah, so just be safe. And uh, yeah, we're getting those, uh, we're getting the weakness that we want to, you know, just to just rationalize this, this whole move, right? So it's looking, you know, it's playing out finally. And the people that don't understand the things I just said, are probably not in the market anymore. They all got deleted. So you just have to wait. It's a game of patience and you just have to wait for the perfect setup and just size in, right? And how do you know about the perfect setups? Well, 